Welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast, the show where two longtime friends put their mainstream pop culture past to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the newest yeah. episode of the Nostalgia Test Podcast. I'm going to do today's intro. Do I'm it. Manny Quill here in New York with my partner dan dissinger out in la dan what is going on what's dan? up cold day today first cold day Let's here go. in la i actually had to put my heat cold on. day it was actually it was warm here today well you know warm. la cold i woke up it was 60. so that's la cold <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> has your blood uh has your blood thinned out so much that you like need a sweatshirt today? Oh no, I did. With I 16. wore a hoodie this morning. I had thick socks on while I was walking around the apartment. That's you know, yeah, that's LA was, cold. It was a little humid in New York today. Wow. It was cold on Saturday. It was cold. It was freezing on Saturday, actually. I was outside uh, in the backyard fireplace. So that was fun. Uh, but it was freezing. We had like three blankets wrapped around us. Oh so. my god. Um, I sort of missed that. It was hot again today. I love fall in New York. New York fall is really cold. I mean, right now you get probably like what, like two weeks of fall and then it's like winter. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We're getting our, we're getting our two weeks. Actually it has been, it's been an okay fall. That's good. It's an okay fall doing a lot of leaf peeping. I dude, I, as soon as I like was like, I don't know why (laughs) I even mentioned fall because as soon as I did, I was just like, he's gonna go right to leaf peeping mm-hmm. and like and i'm i listen i want to put the leaf peeping to bed you know because oh yeah this is, you know we're, this is a non-spooky season episode Woo-hoo. yes Ooh, and, spooky season is over yeah, whenever this yeah. hit episode hits yeah we, have we no are idea. past spooky season <laughs> you don't know when we're past sp- spooky season you know while it was being recorded you know it was so or still before spooky season yeah. was over yeah. i mean halloween's this saturday but, yeah, but this will come out after. Who knows when this is we do? No, this is podcast magic. You never know. By the way, did you get a chance to watch Face the Music? No, not Tank. yet, actually. Um, I need to. I watched it yesterday. And it's a trilogy. <laughs> it's as yeah. good as a trilogy will get. Uh-huh. There I mean, will a lot be of no more. Like oh, good. A lot of people like it. I enjoyed it. Uh-huh. I did not enjoy it as much as the first one or the second one, mm. but I also haven't seen the second one. And we haven't put that to the test. It's better than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. No, oh, did you watch it? No. Okay, because I'm yeah, I I don't want to. I, I feel I like I don't know like... if I want to waste that that precious time to watch. Feel... You know, Killer Clowns three. Yeah, I feel exactly. I feel like watching that will ruin it, like watching Godfather 3. Yeah, yeah. Well, what a perfect segue, Manny Coelho, right into our topic today of cartoon theme songs from our cartoon childhood. Cartoon theme songs. And the openers, first, I guess. The opener is awesome. But I, I'm going to ask you this. How are we rating this? Are you rating this on the video again? Are we yeah. basing this on like, is just the song. I almost want to say the video is just an added part to this. Yeah. The song itself needs to be tested because yeah. if you're thinking about the jingle and you're not even seeing the actual video that comes with it, I feel like that's the test. Like, yeah. Is it still in your brain? Do you still feel like happy when you sing it or hear it or let it repeat so many times in your head? Because after you send me these links, I've been singing these things all day. So I think that's the ultimate test. But we could talk about some of the what goes on yeah. in the video. Yeah, but I think you're right. I think we, with this, unlike with the on episode 17 of the podcast where the, you have the Halloween music videos, we talked about the video. The video is really important. Um, yeah. With this, I do feel like the song itself is just the thing that we're uh, So we're testing. not, we're not going to test the show. No, we, we can talk, can talk about, about the we show. We can talk about it. It's inevitable. I mean, we can do whatever the fuck we want to do. It's <laughs> yeah, fuck, what, fuck you. Who are these people? Fuck you, we're, Steve. We're arguing with the... <laughs> fuck you, Steve. We're arguing with ourselves. 
All yeah, right. exactly. So, All right, so the first on the list. Oh, the first segue. On the list. There you I go. did not mean to do that. Maybe I did in the back of my mind. I don't know. Teenage uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. Yes. From like the night, what, in the early 80s, late 80s, early 90s, right? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the show. I mean, I mean, just that, the. It was on at like, what, what channel was this? 11? I don't Eleven? know, but. It wasn't a WB. No, I don't think there was a four? W channel no. four, channel five. It was it was on after school, right? It was on after school, but I also think it was also wasn't it Saturday morning cartoon Saturday morning as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, because I feel like it was just out of hand on Saturday, where like I would wake up and then boom, that's what I'm watching: Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like Looney Tunes, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, so 1987 uh, TV series, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, huge. I mean, huge. I mean, I can't even begin. I feel to like understand th- how huge this is. This, first of all, I mean, <laughs> who doesn't know this jingle if you grew up in this time? Uh, yeah, I mean, come on. Now. It explains everything about the turtles, who they are. Yeah, yeah. You know, who who else is in it? I mean, there's nothing wrong with this drink. The, I mean, I'm watching it right now. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Dude, the, okay. So the soundtrack of the show was composed by Dennis Chalen Brown, credited as DC Brown and later as Dennis C. Brown, and Chuck Lorre, who has created some of the greatest shows on TV. I mean, you know, Big Bang Theory, he's the creator of Two and a Half Men. He was the creator of, you know, whatever. I mean, uh, that's only two things. But uh, Grace on the Fire, Sybil, Dharma and Greg, The Big Bang Theory, Mike and Molly, Mom, Young Sheldon. I mean, this guy has been running television forever. And he wrote this and composed the music with uh, Dennis Shalen Brown and recorded the theme song and performed the spoken parts and became a successful television producer. The performer of the song, uh, was also James Mendel, aka Miles Doppler. To date, the soundtrack has never been released for retail. So that's. I mean, insane. I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess that's the information. I mean, maybe I got it wrong, but sounds good to me. I like it. I'm not going to fact check you, but I, I will say, very catchy. Tells the whole story of what you're about to watch. Yeah. Quick, Absolutely. easy jingle. I love these jingles back in the day, man. Oh, they were yeah. great. I mean, I don't know if there's jingles now. I guess there might be. I mean, I'm not watching Saturday morning cartoons. Why not? No. <laughs> there are none. I just don't I have mean, time to. I don't think there are any to really watch. Uh, everybody's on YouTube. Yeah. But like this song is just high Mutant energy Ninja right out Turtle. of the bat. I mean, boom. First of all, Shredder taught them to be ninja teens. He's radical rat. I love those little like <laughs> those little like ad libs. Like, yeah, they're like yeah. But Leonardo leads. Raphael is Rupa crew. Give me a break. <laughs> I love it. It just starts and it just ends. Boom. It doesn't it's let so up. It's so quick. It's no. so quick. Yeah. It's like a Slayer song where like it just starts, it goes, it ends, and it's over. It doesn't let up. It just goes all the way through like without a problem. But, I mean, it is super catchy. I mean, this is like one of the more catchier uh, songs, I feel like, out of all of these, except for I think one of these is just, I mean, well, there are a couple on this list that I feel like are super catchy, but this one definitely is insane. We're really hip. Not <laughs> dude. I love it. I love it. In the old... Donatello <laughs> does machine. That's a fact, Jack. Yeah, and then he explodes. He's trying to make an espresso with what looks like <laughs> what the hell is that? Like you don't do machines, like machines do you at that point. Like Donatello you're... was a, a guy who was a, who wanted to open up the first hipster coffee shop in the nineties. <laughs> Yeah, it takes five hours to make your coffee. And then, like, you explode. <laughs> it breaks down. Yeah, yeah. But, but, like, Raphael still is my favorite. I mean, even after listening to the song and watching it, I'm just like, yeah, no wonder Raphael's awesome. I mean, come on. Leonardo leads. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> 
Michelangelo is a party dude. But uh, you know what's funny? Splinter does not look wet in this uh, in the cartoon. No, Splinter looks pretty ill actually in this yeah. in this whole thing. He's a radical rat. Yo, he looks like he can kick some ass in the in the in the movie. He looks like he can hardly walk. Yeah, no, Splinter does a lot more in the cartoon version than he yeah. did, and they did not do him justice. Maybe because like Jim Henson just didn't couldn't make the maybe if they did it now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He would do more. I don't know. Is he even in the the newer ones? I'm not even sure. I'm not even I don't sure. Think so, but I think what's weird about this one, and you know, other than the song, watching the opener, is that Splinter is actually was changed from a human into a rat mutant. Where, like in the movies, he's a rat turned into a larger rat. Yeah, who follows his like karate jujitsu master? Right, and he, like mimics him. Yeah. Yeah. So I forget how they explained it in this. Yeah. But um but you know, he he definitely does turn into why is he turn into a rat? I don't I don't that's the thing. I have no idea. But the weird thing is the pizza looks so gross. I forgot how gross cartoon pizza looks. <laughs> it just looks full it just looks floppy. Like it's just gross. Dude, there's so much going on in this opener. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, April it's has like two seconds of screen time. She just looks backwards, like, yeah. And then that's Fuck it. April. Like, <laughs> she's gonna crash. She's driving a hundred miles an hour. Turtles jump out of the roof of a van and she's looking backwards. It's like mm, you're dead. <laughs> a lot of people die. Yeah. No, but, so I mean we're gonna I like this one. Oof. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna yeah. say let's test this out. I'm gonna say as a song. Definitely nostalgic, and it passes the damn test. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean you know, how how can I haven't happen? forgotten this song ever? Like anytime anyone talks about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is the song that pops in my head. Yeah, constantly. Well, because there was no real song for the movie. It wasn't like it opened up and it was like Teenage Mutant. It would have been way better if it did. That would have been fucking awesome. Uh, would have changed the whole like, yeah, ug- ugliness of the movie. Like mm. the ugliness of New York, like yeah, the, the, to me, the song is like <laughs> it's totally, it's totally upbeat. It's crazy, man. This song is it's just a real jingle. Like when you think about the jingle, that's a jingle, man. That thing will not leave your brain, and oh, no. it hasn't left my brain since I was a kid. And like even when you're like talking about the teenage mutant shows, yeah, Leonardo leads, yeah, Donatello yeah, does Donatello, machines. You know, he does machines like I mean, Raphael's. Uh, rude, um, but you know, cool, but cool, you know. And Michelangelo's a party dude. I wouldn't party. say Splinter's a radical rat. I would say that he's, you know, you know, a rat. But I, radical, I guess. He's a radical rat. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, it passes. I mean, how? There's not much else to say about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song. I mean, it got me psyched when I was a kid to watch the cartoon. It gets me psyched now to watch the cartoon again. The cartoon looks amazing. I mean, dude, know. I'll tell you, I've never forgot. Like, I didn't even forget like the cuts. Like, I remember that espresso machine. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was good, man. That's definitely that's the, it's definitely a uh, yeah. That's the easiest. Definitely goes one. up to the house. Easiest one. Great. Yeah. Great. Starting off big here. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles start still start doing big. well in the uh, was the second episode or third episode of ours. And uh, doing what? really well right now. Yeah, the, fr- the movie. Oh the yeah, episode. episode episode three. Go back and uh, listen episode to episode three. Episode episode three. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic. Classic. Classic episode. I actually ended up liking the movie. And, uh, <laughs> April episode. is a home wrecker. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, next song, Darkwing Duck. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. First. <laughs> Dude, this first of all, this show is crazy, but let we'll get into the show. Let's go into this. Uh, this guy, the, uh, everything in this show is out of hand, but like, I like it. It's funky, it's just, yeah. It's got like a like, it's just like, let's get dangerous. Dark Darkwing Duck, Duck. let's Darkwing Duck, Darkwing Duck, let's get dangerous. <laughs> Dark Queen Duck. 
Duckweed, duckweed, duck. Yeah, like, I, I, it's weird to, like, it's weird listening to these out of the idea that, like, we're actually going to watch the song, but the idea that we're really just listening to the song. But I feel like it's, you know, the Duck. artist is the Disney Afternoon Studio Chorus of that song. That's, like, the most information I have on that. So they had a Disney afternoon chorus. It seems so that like means that. they recorded many of the Disney's afternoon cartoons. It seems from these that people. way. Yeah. I mean, I, can, I okay. I, I could dig that. Imagine being in the studio <laughs> singing about thing. like you're singing about Darkwing Duck. Like Darkwing Duck is basically a cheaper version of Batman. Like it's a nicer yeah. version of Batman. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. He's an idiot, though. Oh, he's totally stupid. But and and he's got what Launchpad, who is like the Launchpad is the, who's in the everything. guy? Yeah, who was that guy that we said that was in everything? He was in Wayne's World, and he was in. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm forgetting his name now. Uh, Beecher from Oz. Yeah. So he's <laughs> he's the Beecher. From- He's in everything. He's in DuckTales. He's in this. I know he's in something else. I feel like on that show, Coach, the guy on that, he's that guy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Dude, Launchpad was a versatile character in all. Like, he just jumped. He was like the guy, like, when they have now, they have like Chicago Fire and Chicago PD, like, crossover. Like, Launchpad is the guy who, like, crossovers to all these different. Yeah. God. He might have even been in Tailspin. I bet in he one episode probably was. At he was point. because he's a pilot. Oh like, well, there you go. I'm sure there's an episode where Launchpad shows up. Yeah, I mean, he had to, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure he was in that. He's pr- probably in like some sort of episode of Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I mean, because like, how can you not be? I mean, he's literally he's Launchpad. In everything else, exactly. He's Launchpad. and is he called Launchpad in every episode, in every show? I, that's his name, Launchpad, right? Yeah, I think so. So the writers of this song, Steve Nelson and Thomas J. Sharp, the the two writers of this song. Um, I mean, the thing is this. What's funny about these theme songs is like the seriousness that people had to sing it at. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you had to, like you said, go into the studio and be like, Cloud of smoke and he appears, the master of surprise. Who's that cunning mind behind the shadowy disguise? It's like, and then he sounds like, can you take that from the top, please, with more uh, feeling? Dude, a job's a job, Dan. A job's a job. And your job is to get kids to remember. Right. right. And put this yeah. jingle in their, in their brain so that they remember this all the time. That's right. That, exactly. I mean, you're just selling. It's a commercial, Right. Yeah, it's, it's an opener, yeah. but it's a commercial because, like, you, if you're singing this when when it's not on, you're just thinking about Dark Green Duck all the time. So, yeah, like, I. But I th- here's the thing: I'm having a problem with with this one. Like, unlike like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I feel like classic, right? I don't know if I feel the same about Dark Green Duck. I think it's a great song, but I'm not. <sighs> it's weird. Does it? Like the idea of this, of the idea of like passing the nostalgia test, uh, you're a theme song to a cartoon that I watched when I was a child. <laughs> and I'm like, we really paint ourselves into a corner here. Um, but like it, I, I think like Darkwing Duck to me personally is more of a nostalgic song. It doesn't pass, but it's like a really amazing, like nostalgic memory of a great cartoon but not necessarily something that like makes me want to go rewatch Darkwing Duck. I've watched uh, an episode or two of it in the last couple months, and it was it was funny. But I think like I don't I, with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. To me, I'm like fuck. I, I need to watch the whole series. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm, I need to. This I'm like oh, you know passing by. I'll watch it. I don't really know if I, I, I thought I was going to, I saw an episode of it and uh, I was surprised. I, I wasn't really into it. I was like, what the fuck is this show about? <laughs> right. But 
I don't know. I have mixed feelings about passing the test on the jingle part because I like the let's get dangerous. Yeah. And then dark wind, dark, dark wind, dark wind. When there's trouble, you call DW. But the rest of it, all about like the do 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 do. The billion skies will cry. My billion is like I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't think anyone likes that. <laughs> okay, no one knew about that shit. <laughs> no one remembered. No one, no one remembered what they said. You only remembered <laughs> like the major ones with Teeny's Wee Ninja Turtles from start to end. Oh yeah, memorized. So yeah, I guess I would say it's nostalgic to make me think about the, sh- the show. Definitely find it a pretty interesting show. I guess I don't know if it was supposed to be spooky. I'm not really sure. It's like a um, Batman, but like a I know really it's about Batman, but it's goofy like goofy Batman. Yeah, so he's kind of like making fun of Batman. Yeah. Um, anyways, but not enough to like for me to remember the rest of the songs. Yeah. The rest of the songs. So I'm gonna say I think I guess I'll I'll agree with you that. It's not, it doesn't pass the test. It uh, just okay. stays in nostalgic land. Yeah. All right. It next one. Oh, well, the next one. Is okay. Spin. First of all, <sighs> first of all, Dude. one of my favorite cartoons yes, absolutely. ever. Okay. I always yeah. wanted to be a kid, the cloud kicker. Yeah. Like surfing on clouds. Dude. First of all, I know it wasn't, even when I was a kid, I was like, that's not possible. Like you can't, a cloud isn't a pillow, but Watching the cartoon, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You'll pull right through that cloud. They're not staying on that cloud. You're just like, are you? Is it real? You're life? just being you dragged out, along. You die immediately. Yeah, that disc, the metal disc, like you're yeah. just getting dragged yeah. um, by a plane. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. That thing didn't even. There was. Wow. It wasn't even like designed right for you to like surf the sky. Okay, so he's. It's a boomerang that was attached to his feet not even attached to his feet it was metal the kids just getting thrown around by a plane like but whatever that's no here nor there we're talking about the song first of all the the greatest breakdown ever it's like i'm like oh my god i forgot how awesome that was this guy oh yeah Oh, you know what this oh, is? Leo. Just like watching Han Solo. This is like, you know, they took Han Solo from Star Wars and they're like, all right, let's give Baloo from Jungle Book a shitty plane and have him be like, he's a smuggler, basically, you know? Yeah, that's all yeah. he was. And he didn't care about a kid. He didn't, no. He hated him. He didn't no. want him. No, he hated, exactly. And that kid always had a patch on his sweater. At some point, can he have a new sweater? I mean, yeah, no, he wears that all the time. Oh. They don't change clothes in cartoons. And they don't wear pants. Unless you're a woman. I mean, he's an animal. Yeah, but the woman wears pants. Interesting. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Same thing with Darkwing Duck. Like, he doesn't wear pants. Ducks never wear pants, I think, in shows uh, <laughs> most of the time. But I love this song. As soon as I First heard... Of all, I love... <laughs> As soon as I, I heard the opener, this. and I heard the opener, I was like, I was just like, oh shit. Yeah. This was one of the most creative shows ever, in my opinion. This show was ridiculous. The pirates at the other planes. I was like, I never knew uh, this show was just nuts. It was nuts because they were like pirates, but they were like plane pirates, and they were they were always flying around. Yeah. And I loved Kid the Cloud Kicker. I mean, uh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he would. A, a, a person would die. It would look like every time he went out the back of that huge seaplane, like he was just like holding on, and then yeah. like, that plane is going hundreds of miles an hour. Your arms would get ripped out from your torso immediately. Well, I mean, we're talking about animals that were in the Jungle Book, and they're like, "What do we do with the Jungle Book? Let's update it. Let's combine Let's that pilot's license with planes." Yeah. <laughs> What a great show. The, oh. th- I mean, I want to test this show because yeah. I remember being awesome. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I love the song. Oh, this song. So fun. I, so fun. You're having a great day. Oh, we go. I feel school. like you oh. could play this song at like a barbecue or some sort of weird, uh, some sort of party. No one would know at first and they would, might catch on, but I think people would let this go. Dude, there's no 
it's not explaining anything about the show. <laughs> no, it it's just, it just it's just, it's just, it's just, just tailspin. Tailspin. Oh, we uh, tailspin. Uh, wait, it's got to be a lyric. No, it goes spin it when you go to the spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. Spin it. <laughs> <laughs> what? If that's the lyric, oh, okay. Wait, there is no lyric. He goes, let's begin. There's a lot of like plain noise. Yeah, okay, here it is. Uh, OEO, let's begin. Bear it and grin it, spin it. OE, yeah, tailspin. OEO, tailspin. Friends for life through thick and thin with another tailspin. Okay, wait, there's, it's got to be other lyrics. Let's see. No, and then it's just, hey, 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 spin it, let's begin it. Bear and grin it when you're in it. You can win it in a minute when you spin it, spin it, spin it. So spin it, tailspin. And then that's it. Whatever you just did made me have a tailspin. That so. was, uh, that's amazing. I love this song. I, I love this song. And I, oh my God, are you serious? They actually put this song on the Genius website. Someone actually had to do a lyric breakdown. They had to bring it to Genius. Why? It has like that's four amazing. words. Amazing. But like, I, 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 th- I think you could actually play this song and people just would be like, yeah, like th- that's fine. Like yeah. I, I think we can, you know, keep this party going. And <laughs> yes, produced by Walt Disney Records, album on the Disney Afternoon album. The- oh, this was produced by Disney. This is a Disney show. Oh, I didn't like, realize that. Or Jungle Book. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. One time, bought I almost bought a pin, a tailspin pin, Shut up. classic tailspin pin to wear on my hat. <laughs> I almost did. No. There was there was a moment a couple of years ago. We were we were at the brewery. We were having like pin off where we were buying like just old vintage pins, and there was a tailspin one I found for twenty bucks, and it was it was the uh, logo, the tailspin. Logo. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't. God. Get it. Dude, do you know the show only had 65 episodes? No way. Yeah. I mean, that's fucking bullshit. I mean, what? Then the, the stories were all the same. Yeah, but kid, you could have done Kid a would thing. like slide his way through things because he was like, you know, the orphan kid that did whatever he wanted. Yeah. But you know. I feel like you could have had a movie. Oh. What? A movie? A tailspin movie? I would have watched that. I would have watched that. I mean, okay. I mean, let's get to this. I mean, this to me passes the nostalgia test. I mean, uh, I, yes. It's like I feel like I can't believe Jimmy Buffett didn't do a cover of this song. I love it. <laughs> this should be a Jimmy Buffett song at this point. I mean, come on. How did he not do that? Uh, he's just getting lazy. I mean, yeah. come on. No, this is Tailspin. Uh, tailspin. Yeah, Tailspin. Tailspin. Uh, and I don't even need to watch the, the show because I don't want to look, ruin my childhood. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I would say that I would pass the test. I, I mean, I would say better so. cartoons than they have now. Anyway, oh, we're moving dude. on Here is the next one. This one is one of those shows that when I watched it as a kid, I was just blown away. I don't know why I love the Rescue Rangers. I think oh, the Rescue sometimes. Rangers. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, exactly. The These lyrics. to two. Juice. But this too small. No case too small. When you need help, just call. Chippendales. Rescue Rangers. Chippendales. When there's danger. When there's danger. No, it never fails once they're involved. Somehow, whatever's wrong gets solved. <laughs> yes. Basically, they, they took Magnum PI. Yeah, and Indiana Jones, oh. and they made a duo. Dude, first of That's all, this was great. I mean, you know, Tom Selleck was supposed to be Indiana Jones. Um, oh, he was offered the part first. Okay, uh, but he couldn't get out of his Magnum PI contract. But you're right. Like when you really think about it, like Rescue Rangers is that. It's yeah. totally like Magnum PI and Indiana Jones. Sure. I'm like that. That's so crazy. Look what they're wearing. Indiana Jones leather jacket. And so is the other guy and in there a the launch guy, pad? Yes. Who uh, uh Spicy Jack, whatever his name. His name was <laughs> something Jack. Jack. 
<laughs> his name was like Cheddar Jack or something like that, like the cheese or something like that. And notice how the female mouse is wearing pants. She's wearing like a whole bodysuit and everyone else is pantsless. Yeah. It's that's so funny weird. that you noticed that. I didn't notice that. I don't know why. There's some, I mean, that's a, my. That's just weird to notice that. But I <laughs> think that it's just one of those weird things that like when you make cartoons, that that's what you're, you know, doing. Oh, I think it, it moderate Jack. Moderate Jack. Yeah, moderate <laughs> Jack. Spicy uh, Jack. Then you have okay, Spicy Jack. Gadget. I think that was a little fly, right? Uh, um, maybe. And then, like, but there was two. It looks like there's two Monterey Jacks. Um, I'm looking on the IMDb IMDb page. Um, they have an people, IMDb page for cartoons. I mean, they have it for everybody. Well, it makes sense. Yeah, everyone, all the voice actors. Well, it's like they're all actors. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! They're like, dude, there, the, the, there was not that many episodes of this. How many episodes were there? Sixty. Why are there only like sixty episodes of these shows? Cause they, dude, they were made for when we were kids, and that was it. And like, how much more are you gonna write of the same story? They all go like every five episodes are the same. I want you know? more episodes. I want like a hundred episodes. No, <laughs> it was like I when mean, I watched. X-Men. They can't be the Simpsons. Not everybody can be the Simpsons. Because if you're not a ta- if you're not tackling like mm-hmm. current events, the cartoon is just some stupid shit that kids watch. I feel like when I was watching X-Men, the series, and I always got caught up in this one like long uh, storyline that went over several episodes, and then I never saw the end, and then it was over. I think that the series got canceled around that point, and then that was it, and then I had to start it over all the time. I was like, oh, I hate starting this series over because I don't give a shit about this guy Morph, and like... <laughs> Uh, but I feel like the like cartoons just end. Like there's no like series finale. I love that. It's just like and we're done with this. Just give yeah. a shit. By the way, this got canceled, and there's no <laughs> actual like they're never really growing up, right? So every episode no. is like you don't know how long they've actually known each other, or yeah, no one remembers what happened the last yeah. time, or else they wouldn't get in trouble again. Yeah, I mean, but, I love Rescue Rangers just because like you could draw so many interesting things because their world is so small. And then you just have to like create all the stuff that we might, might see in like an action movie or an action show. And you draw it at like, you make it out of all these things like pencils and balloons and all sorts of crap. I loved watching it. I was obsessed with it all the time. Oh, it was great. Launchpad might have been in this, but he would have been huge. But he would have been huge. He must have made an appearance at some point, right? I mean, he's in everything. It depends on whether or not Launchpad was owned by Disney or was that Warner Warner Brothers. Dude, I don't know, but I I I am like love this show. It's a good show. But the song is also really great. See, yeah. I feel like the more energy you put into it, the people singing this are just like like like, like double mint gum God. oh my god <laughs> double mint double mint gum yeah this is like all right now sing this one about like pepsi <laughs> but like it's it, it's like they're singing it as if it's like you know like stairway to heaven and i think when you put that type of energy into it and you could say whatever you want um i th- I, th- I mean darkwing duck was good but i feel like it was more like the song was goofier than like the Rescue Rangers or the Tailspin song, even though the Tailspin song was kind of goofy, but like it was, it knew what it is and it just went all the way. I feel like Darkwing Duck kind of held back a little bit. It was like Darkwing Duck, yeah, when there's trouble, you go. But it, the Rescue Rangers is like in your, like it's just, I don't know, it's just got more energy. I think because the show had a different energy. Mm. So far, we just like high energy. I don't think Darkwing Duck was very high energy. I think it was supposed to try to be like darker. You know. Like Batman. Sure. But when you know, but remember the opener to Batman, the original Batman cartoon? I mean, that got me excited to watch Batman. I wasn't getting it. I don't get excited to watch Darkwing Duck by that song. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. yeah, but that was a different style. Like you were kind of like, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I, I'm going to say that Rescue Rangers passes in the style of test. I Fuck mean, yeah. I'm a grown man talking about, you know, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, but I'm loving how much I love this song. So fuck yeah, it passes. 
So that's Rescue Rangers. We're flying through these, Manny. Next. What is next? I Duck lost Tales. the link. I lost the link. So just say it and then I'll remember. I think um, it's DuckTales is the next one. Yeah, yes, DuckTales is the next one. DuckTales. Okay. <laughs> Fucking great. This show is out of hand, dude. It's Hurricane. <laughs> it's, it's a uh, duck, duck world. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Jeremy. <laughs> oh, shout out to mid Jeremy. Quack, quack. Congratulations on the new kid. Yeah, there you go. Little Duck. DuckTales. Woo. I mean, another great song. DuckTales. Oh, I, I could always picture, like, imagine, like, they had a, the, the band, they're, like, dancing to this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the danger lurks behind you. There's a stranger. Uh, DuckTales. Woo. So this, the show's theme song was written by a guy named Mark Mueller. Also, Lunchpad McQuack later returned to appear in another Disney animated series, becoming a main character in Darkwing Duck. So, <laughs> So there you go. I mean, so you have oh god, we hit wait, okay. I have to shut this one off. This this is I hate this one. Okay. Uh <laughs> I can't deal with that next time. Yeah. So the guy Mark Mark Mueller is an American songwriter, two-time winner of the a- ASCAP Pop Award for writing one of the most performed songs of the year on Billboard Hot 100 top 10 singles and one number one adult contemporary hit. Uh songs he has written have been featured in um uh, verify gold and platinum records in four consecutive decades um he wrote music for the theme songs for both uh ducktales and chippendales rescue rangers and also for the tvcs as well as the 2017 ducktales reboot he is out there doing some work he's out there this guy knows his jingles yeah he definitely does um, dude imagine you come up with this jingle like you're like you might like have an awesome outlook in life if you're just like constantly thinking of like happy tones tunes like this, you know? Yeah. It's a duck world. Like this Dude. guy's just in a happy mood. Like he's talking about ducks. Like well, he wrote- it's a cartoon about ducks, and no, one guy is know. Scrooge McQuack. The guy is supposed to be McDuck. a duck. Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> it's a fucking quack. Yeah, he jumps in a pile of money. That man should die. That hurts, by the way. Yeah, That's not possible. Die. No, you can't just jump in a First of all, it's not even possible for ducks to talk, unless you're Jeremy. But like, <laughs> you know, I, whatever. It's And it turns into waves, whatever. That but was crazy. But I love he's it. written some songs that are, he wrote uh, That's What Love Is For by Amy Grant, which was on the chart for three weeks on the Billboard chart. He wrote a song for Heart, the band Heart. He wrote songs and co-wrote songs uh, for Earth, Wind, and Fire. I mean, this guy's been writing songs for people like his whole career. But I mean, you know, it's so funny to think like he's written songs for these like really huge artists, but he's also out there writing the opening songs for like Rescue Rangers and uh, DuckTales. Yes. Dude, this this is a good show. <laughs> yes, it was. It was, it was such not, a good show. It was a good show. I liked it. I thought, I mean, I'm it sure... Had- yeah. Uh, what were those? What were the bo- the brothers? The their evil like. Uh, they always had like jail numbers on them. Oh yeah. What were those, they like, called? Were they dogs? I don't even know what they were called though. I don't know what they were, but they were like a whole team, and they had a yeah. mom who like bossed them around. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like the Goonies. Yeah, and there was also the know? other duck that, like, I guess the more Irish. The dog, Scottish, the Scottish the duck. Scottish duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, like, he, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, whatever his name was, like, what was it, McDuff? Was his name McDuff? McDuff. Might have been McDuff. Dude, everything about this show, also, this is like another Indiana Jones, but like a rich Indiana Jones. Because there's yeah. always a crazy adventure. And I love this, the the episodes that went on for several episodes. Yes. Because there's like these huge adventures. I love those episodes. Dude, he was in space. Yeah. I mean, you know, and these are donald's nephews right or kids yes or i think they're donald no they're his kids and uncle scrooge well then, is donald's is donald's brother I, see that's where i get mixed up and there's a whole family tree of ducks so the premise holy what, shit what, what was the duck's name huey huey louie and dewey yeah, Huey, <laughs> Dewey, and Louie. So listen to the premise. When Donald Duck decides to join the U.S. Navy, 
He enlists his uncle Scrooge McDuck to look after his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So those are his nephews. So where's the original father? Uh, Is he dead? He might be dead. I have no idea. That is so Like, why is this his nephews? He's just, why not? Why is he looking after his nephews? I don't know. And he uses his other brother to like. Uh, Oh, big time Beagle, Baggy Beagle, Poe. And Bubba. These are like the, the Those Beagles. are the Beagle brothers. Babyface Beagle, Burger Beagle, Bouncer Beagle. There's a lot of Beagles. They're, <laughs> so they're supposed Beagle. to be Beagles? They're supposed to be like dogs? Oh my God. This show is out of hand. Sometimes when you think of like how like the, the premise of these shows, they just like started to grow into craziness. But like, it's just, all, yeah. Does Donald show up at all? No, sometimes. I remember yeah. him showing up in the show. And where's the brother? Where's this? Where the? I don't know where their father is. Is it the duck? You know, you see in the opener that like has a almost like a rounder head and is in like the knight. You know, like he dresses like a knight. At no some point. I don't know. No, what I thought that was like his like friend who's a scientist. Oh, uh, where he steals like you know probably steals his technology to be rich. Maybe. I mean, I'm down for this. Song. It's like a hurricane. hurricane. It's yeah. a. Yeah. Duck blur. Duck blur. Or rerun history. Yeah, they travel through time. This is yeah a little bit like Back to the Future as well. It's also weird to say like to have a character who's super rich and then have a line in the opening theme to say and rewrite history. This is like hmm. I don't mm. know if you, you know, we got to read, we got to read, <laughs> got to, got to re, uh, get back to that for a second. You know, I don't think you should be putting that in your show about a trillion, a trillionaire being like, yeah, you know, maybe we'll do this, that and rewrite history. Why not? <laughs> sure. <laughs> but you know, and he always ended up being like a nice guy too. He always like yeah. started off like being a dick and then yeah, being nice. Because he had those nephews. Yeah. All right. So. It passes the test. Yeah, I it passes the test. Why? I, I'm saying it passes. I love this song. It stays in your head, like we, we yeah. like we said. As long as it stays in your head, like Dark Wing Duck is like Man. only two two phrases do. So yeah. there's he's staying I, back there. Like Ducktales, the theme makes me want to watch the show. Like I want to watch it now. Yeah. Okay. All so. right. So now, <sighs> first Dude. of all, the next one starts off so dumb, but uh. Whatever we're gonna go into it because I was I was realizing what this is Captain so, Planet, Captain Planet, Earth, Earth Fire, Fire, Wind, Wind. Heart, Go I never Planet. Good that one. Heart. They just needed to do one, and they like, wanted to make you say that you needed heart for all yeah, this. That kid got screwed for power. Heart. It's just like, what do you do with that? Don't know. <laughs> well, he makes people nicer. Oh. First of all, the first of all. This oh. is like a, a PSA on polluting. Yeah. Disguised as the X-Men. Yes. Or like Voltron. Yeah. But they didn't have powers. They had rings that had powers. Kind of like the Green and, Lantern, which is like one of the worst characters ever. Yeah. And if you just wanted to change the world, use heart. That's it. Okay. Yeah. You didn't need fire. You didn't need wind. Nothing. You just pointed at the person. Or the animal, because that heart could get controlled by either or. Like if there was an animal coming at me and kill me, freaking boom, give it heart. That was it. That's all you needed in this. Yeah. And spread it out and tell everybody to not pollute. First of all, I hate this show. Okay. I used to like this show. I think I did. But I was thinking in my head, they didn't solve shit from this show being on. No. No, but everyone's still polluting. Climate change is still happening. We're still dealing with all these things. What was this show for? It, nothing to sell cartoons, bro. That's to, sell, to sell bullshit. Dude, Captain you, you, Planet, he's a hero. Gonna bring pollution down to zero. Dude, <laughs> do you remember the show Widget the World Watcher? No. You don't? No. Okay. So Widget the World Watcher was kind of like the same thing in a way. He was like an alien 
Um, he was a short purple extraterrestrial. Um, he spun like a top and then he like changed into certain things. Each episode would have Widget contending with a villain from either Earth or outer space wishing to exploit Earth's environment or natural resources. Similar to Captain Planet and the Toxic Crusaders, which that show was fucking weird. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, but this show was so weird, and I used to watch that more because I, I like that show better than Captain Planet, Widget the World Watcher. Really? Oh, yeah. No, I, not, I don't ever remember that one. I did watch um, Captain Planet a lot. I always rem- rem- remembered that the fire guy reminded me of Gambit. Like he had like oh that God. attitude, like the Gambit attitude, you know? <laughs> yeah. But like Gambit. the show was whatever. As far as the song. Yeah. What do you think? I, I don't like it. I don't. I, I also don't think that it's nostalgic. I, I what? don't like it. I disagree. I, I, I think it's definitely nostalgic just because I did watch the show a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm saying Ozone that, Patrol. Shout out to Billy Ozone Patrol. Um, but I I'm don't think it would pass that, the test. I'm saying it's bad for me because I just hated it. As soon as I started listening to it, I was like, ugh. It made me want to pollute. Like, it made so, you want to pollute. Yeah. I was well, you like, were a smoker for one one part of your life, so you definitely polluted it a lot. <laughs> whoops does not pass for you though but you're just saying it's nostalgic okay? it's definitely nostalgic i don't think yeah. it passes it doesn't make me want to watch this the yeah. show annoyed me because i mean there's one part it looks like echo the dolphin uh when the dolphin like flies <laughs> up into the sun but like it just annoyed me because i was just thinking like they never really did anything without having captain planet having to show up like <laughs> yeah they couldn't do shit without him you know and like he didn't really do anything for the world. Like that show exploited cleaning up the planet and then like nothing happened. Like they just wanted to sell action figures and rings. I sent you in a link in the chat of widget, the world watcher intro opening. This show is bugged out. The people who created this show, they really need to go to rehab or something. Like it is out of hand. Widget, the world watcher. Yeah. All right, so whales being caught. So that's just like exactly like, oh, I think I saw what's happening. Rhinos. Wait, what is this? They're fighting cosmic? Okay. Oh, my God. This show is crazy. Oh, dude, I remember this guy, but I never got into it. I like this show. I don't know why. I just didn't like Captain Planet. I just didn't get it. But you like there. Widget the World Watcher. Yeah. Who turns into monkeys he turns and into- different things. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever do like, was it Dino the Last Dinosaur? Uh, or is it Denver? Denver the Last Dinosaur. Yes. He's our friend and a whole lot, lot more. more. Yeah. <laughs> of course I did, bro. What are you kidding? Like, <laughs> that show is ridiculous. All right. Let's move All on right, here. Okay. We're going to be here forever. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So uh, Ghostbusters, we're skipping over this list. because Yeah. Now we're actually done with this list, and we just go straight to Animaniacs. Oh, yes. Now, there is a new Animaniacs actually coming. Like, it's now out. Um, I believe we're coming out, you know, soon. Um, so that's happening. Dude, Animaniacs was a crazy show. Uh, yeah, Animaniacs was quite possibly one of the greatest cartoons to ever happen in my entire life. I first of all, the jingle. Yeah. We're Animaniacs. Yeah. And we're zany to the max. Animaniacs. Oh, I love it. I love it because it tells the whole show. Yeah. It tells the whole show. Like, and they tell why you, they now exist. you know the plot. Boom. Done. Yeah. Every day they get. Locked up. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's like Dot is cute. Yeah, yeah, it goes Yax. Oh, Bill Clinton plays the sax. Like what is? I mean, it also spawned one of the greatest shows, like Pinky and the Brain. Yeah, some would say no because it didn't last that long. Um, but I love all the different characters, and it was a sketch show. This show was was crazy. This show was great. 
It was a sketch show. I love the mime. Anomania. Mime time. Those are the facts. Mime time. Or what they say, good idea, bad idea. I love that. The, the the everything about this show was just I I needed to watch it like it was just like one of those cartoons that I was just like so sad when it when it was canceled. Um, they they dealt yeah. with a lot of like like current events. Well, dude, on the first episode, they did a song where it was like every city or American country state in the world. Yes, fifty states. Well, they did the fifty states, but they also did the world. The fifty states and capitals. Yeah, was the first thing. Oh, was that it? Because they also did a yeah. world one, I remember. And yeah. I felt that was insane. It was like the it was like the um that you know we didn't start the fire of cartoons. Like, really? It was the world one? World I'm looking at the one that says 50 states and capitals. Nations of the world. There it is. Oh yes. You're right. Yeah. The what guys, was it? the nations of the world. Here. I mean, like, it's the greatest show on the planet. Here, it's in the chat. I'm looking at my other thing. Okay. okay. Oh, yes. This is it. I remember this. I tried doing this once, like, singing this, and I was like, it, it wasn't happening. Like, you couldn't Those keep are up. the facts. And now, the nations of the world. Brought to you by Yaki. Oh, I like it. Hmm. <laughs> How do you write this though? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you sit and write this song? Who wrote it? The the Nations of the World song. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Randy Rogel. It looks like uh, this guy Randy Rogel. I wonder what the outtakes of this was, but the song, Anime. Oh, the opening theme. Those are the facts. Passing the test. <laughs> this most li- most and, definitely. and the show. I can't wait till it comes back because I will watch that show. Oh, I hope they keep. I hope they keep the theme song, because that theme song is an ultimate nostalgia test passing theme if song. They, that, that's like they, right up there with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When they reboot it, or they when they bring it back, or whatever it is that they're gonna do with it, and if they do not have the opening song, then what's the point? I, that was the point. The song is great. It explains everything that's yeah. going on. Like even if they have new characters, let's say they have other like you know. Because they had the birds, they had Pinky and the Brain, they had yeah. that squirrel. Even if they have those, but they put in explaining that, and yeah. they still have them all dancing and stuff, that'd be mm-hmm. great. Yeah. I loved it, and I love that they they like the the show itself. I want to do the show because we could yeah. talk about that show forever. Like they break the fourth wall in the show. Mm-hmm. Like it's great. I mean, most cartoons, right? Like, Bugs Bunny did that a lot. Oh, oh my favorite great. episodes of Bugs Bunny were when they had the artist drawing and like the character speaking to the illustrator and he would like mess yeah. with the character. That was like one of my favorite episodes. And I was always hoping that it would come on. And then when I would catch it, I was like, oh, thank God. Definitely passes the test. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in a weird space here. Ugh. I don't know how to. Two, this is not a jingle. Yeah. So the next one is the He Man opening theme. I yeah. am. I was so excited about this. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then it's just He-Man, who's, I didn't know his name was Adam. Now, that was like, I was just like, okay. And he's and he's got a scared tiger, okay. Cringer. Yeah. He's called Cringer. Okay. He's got this gigantic sword in his back. By the power of Grayskull. I love how, like, when he... He-Man. That's the theme song. It's just, He-Man. Yeah, it's like, the animal, he- the animal, and nothing can stop. stop, the animal. That's what this is. Yeah, he's the most... And then he punches us in the face. He's the most powerful man in the universe. He doesn't seem that great. No, and then he has this poor girl wearing like a miniskirt. He has this weird orco. It's just I don't know where they made that guy. And then these these villains, and then that's it. He man done. I don't. Yeah, it's not even a jingle. I don't uh, even want to watch He Man anymore. That ruined He Man. Hmm. I don't know. We should definitely try it out. <laughs> I think what's funny is like he had all these clothes on. He then goes. And then I'd say this thing and I become, you know, he man, whatever. And now he's got like bondage clothing on. 
<laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, wait a second. How are you supposed to fight in that? Like you're fighting. What is he supposed to be? Was he a prince? I don't know, but his castle's scary as fuck. He man and the masters of the universe. Well, who are the masters of the universe? I mean, I guess that's why we have to. I, I mean, like he just tells me a story, and I'm like, okay, like got it. I got it. It's a it's the thing you do. Well, is there a song? Like, can I get hyped up for this? Yeah, it's called He Man. He Man. And he goes, I have the power. Yeah, that's what you get no excited about. Very weird. And he only well, first of all, if you had that power, why are you shutting the power down? Do you get tired? Why do you need to go back to a normal human? I would never like wouldn't you just stay as He Man? Of course I would, but aren't you always He Man? That's what I don't get. He's not no, like he, he has less to... muscles. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. He I just think has... Billy. I think Billy's been watching it lately. So uh... when he comes when he comes on, because yeah. he's going to be our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, Billy. Bobo. Billy, one of our best friends Bobo. growing up. One of my neighbors. Oh my yeah. Neighbor growing up. Yeah. Uh, literal next door neighbor. Uh, I know he's been showing his son He Man, so I'm going to ask him that. We got oh, to remember to ask him. We that. have to because, because I want to know how he does explains not... to his kid what this is. Yeah, this does not. I don't think it, this passes the. It's not even nostalgic. No, it I'm didn't even do that. anything I said for me. It's bad. This is terrible. I did have a lot of action figures, though. I did. I had. I sold them all, though. My dad made me sell them. What a uh, garage garage sale. Yeah. Of course. Before let go. Yeah, we, we used to sell all our toys. I don't know why. Evil. I don't know why, but it was like I was told that I didn't have to, but if I wanted, but like, I don't know. But you needed some money. To buy Nintendo or buy other Nintendo games or something like that. I don't know what, what kind of lessons I was learning, but. Anyways, everything's temporary. <laughs> everything's temporary. Yeah, I had a very That's Buddhist upbringing. Yeah. All right. Uh, so next one. Oh, dude, I have. <sighs> How do you feel about this one? God. Transformers. It is so weird. Uh, like, it's really just more electronic, right? Transformers. Yeah, was like more than meets the eye. Yeah, and there were a lot of them to choose from because there was a lot of eras of Transformers, and I chose the most, you know, like season one or nineteen, the one from nineteen eighty four, which is the one I watched mostly. Uh, was this version? The one thing that was cool was seeing some of the Transformers again, especially yeah. that guy that shoots a cassette tape out of. Oh, I had that guy. Like, was he bad or good? I forget. No, he's. Was... Oh, was he bad? Okay. No, I thought it. he was a good one. I'm not sure. First of all, Transformers got the shortest theme, thirty-four seconds. Dude, they had to get right into it. I mean, yeah. that was it. Transformers more than meets the eye, and yeah. like that was it. And a bunch of Let's lasers, get into it. a bunch of fighting. What are you going to have Optimus Prime say some shit? I love that like Transformers every time they fought, they fought in like the middle of the desert. There was never they were never near buildings or really I think ever near people. No, cuz it was only robot on robot war. And they were always trying to get those remember those blocks like the energy blocks? Yeah. Like where were they? They were like buried everywhere. The sparks? Yeah. Yeah, they were buried on on the planet. They needed energy. First of all, this is like one of the saddest, one of the sadder cartoon movies when there was a movie and Optimus Prime dies in it. Crazy. Optimus Prime dies a lot. I feel like he's one of those characters that always dies. He's actually not that much of a prime person. <laughs> he's Optimus Beta. He just dies. <laughs> Optimus Beta. <laughs> now, I love some of the awesome. things. Optimus 1.0. Yeah. <laughs> Optimus Windows 95. I loved some of the bad robots, like um, Star Screamer, right? I think yeah. that was his name. Um, yeah. But I will say that this is one of the cartoons that had some of the most annoying voices of all time. Everyone just sounds like they were always screaming at you all the time. Well, they just had to put like a robot effect. Yeah, but everything so, was like, ah! and it was just like always like that. It was kind of like Cobra from... Uh... G.I. Joe. He was always kind of screaming, too. Oh, my God. All the time with him. All the time. All the time. But I felt like with with, uh, with Transformers, I, I felt nostalgic when I heard it. I, I think like I was like, oh, Transformers. Because I also, when I was in 
<laughs> man, I was such a nerd in high school and middle school. I mean, I just continued to watch cartoons my whole life. Like I was always watching uh like Beast Wars before going to school. Yeah. And that was a Transformer show. Um and I loved watching that. Dude, I liked that when we got older. That one yeah. was cool. Yeah. Beast yeah, Wars. Didn't they was do the, a lot of like they got into like the com- computer animation? Yeah. Yeah. Not like Pixar, but like computer. Yeah, like if you like, know what I'm talking about, like like CGI, in- but like Myth. right before yeah, missed CGI. Yeah, it was it was yeah. an interesting uh, era. Yeah. Do you remember when you got your computer and you always went on the encyclopedia to look at all the videos on the encyclopedia? It's I remember when I had encyclopedias. That shit was crazy. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You always have to get the updated version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I loved it. It was great. I was like, oh my god, look, it's a short, it's a it's a 10 second video of a shark. <laughs> No one ever saw Now you just go to YouTube for it. Yeah, now you go to YouTube and you watch people get attacked by sharks. Yeah. <laughs> what do sharks do? This is what they do. Oh, we right. watch uh, 10 minutes of people falling on their faces off a skateboard. Human fails. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I am saying it doesn't, I think it doesn't pass the nostalgia test. It, it, no, it I think it's nostalgic, nostalgic but it's, yeah. not, it's not bad. It's just like, it didn't really. I think of the show more than I think about the opening of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Manny, we're coming down to our final cartoon. And I feel like it's quite possibly, well, it's it's the theme, opening theme to Ren and Stimpy, everybody. And if you don't know who Ren and Stimpy are, get with it. Because this is one of the greatest fucking shows ever. This show is crazy. I want to dance. Was right this now. on MTV? Ren and Stimpy was on. Uh, let me see again. Let me check this out. Yes. While go. you check this out, no lyrics. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a band playing. It reminds me a little bit of like. Uh, for some reason, I think of like Sandlot when like they're uh, yes. when they're running when Benny's running, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. get in the pickle. But like upbeat, you definitely need to see the opener. It's like yeah. the song is one thing because there's no lyric. I'm just gonna give you a taste. Yeah. So, so like it's but when you're watching the the beats to what's going on on the screen, you're like, yeah. what the fuck is this show? <laughs> what is this show about? They did the powdered toast man. Like that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. What are they? What was oh, Ren and Stimpy? Well, Ren. So okay, so Ren and Stimpy is an American animated television series created by John. I'm never going to be able to pronounce his last name uh, for Nickelodeon. That premiered on August 11, 1991. The series follows the adventures of the title characters Ren Hoek, an emotionally unstable and sociopathic Chihuahua. And Stimpy, a good-natured yet dim-witted cat. So it was created for the first original animated series on Nicktoons alongside Rugrats and Doug. In contrast with the other shows on the network, the series was controversial for its dark humor, sexual innuendos, adult jokes, and shock value. So that's a little bit about Ren and Stimpy. I mean, I don't know what the premise is. The premise is like insanity. I feel like the premise is just like tripping out. Yeah, it was... You know, it was like Pinky and the Brain. Yeah. You know, like the brain is smart, but insane. You know, and and that was what it was. Like Ren is crazy. Oh, yeah. No, Ren was crazy. I mean, that that episode, uh, the Space Madness one, I love that episode. Um, Don't they have the, didn't they have like the log? uh, Everyone loves the log. Yeah. Log, yeah. log. Log, log. Everyone loves a log. That was the best thing. And then Powdered Toast Man. Just the overall stories of Ren and Stimpy. That was another show, though, like where people screamed a lot in your face. It was, it was like of, the yeah. It was like the SpongeBob of our time. Gross. It was also really gross. Oh yeah. The, yeah. You always like food in someone's mouth, teeth. Yeah. It's crazy. But really, Do you want awesome. a toy? I love that show. And I I think the opening the opening music was fucking awesome. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about oh. that song. To me, that song 
not only got me psyched up to fucking watch the show, it also got me psyched up to just keep playing the song. Like I, I would just play mm-hmm. that song because it's so good. It's just a really awesome song. I have no problems with it. And I thought it was just fun. I mean, I'll probably listen to it again. I like it. Yeah. It's good. I think it well, rolls downstairs. Da, 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 lock. Lock. Totally passes big, in the song, it's so. Yes. Definitely. I mean, and the show yeah. is probably insane to go watch. Yeah. I mean, out of all of these, really, the only ones that I didn't like was Captain Planet, He-Man. Uh, I mean, that's really it. I mean, there are a couple that stayed nostalgic, like Darkwing Duck and stuff. But I, really, He-Man and Captain Planet, for me, really let me down. I was really let down, though, by He-Man. Only because I thought He-Man actually had a fucking song. Okay. See, I was not let down by Captain Planet. I actually liked that show. Uh, I probably think the show is crap now, but um, I just didn't think it passed the test. <laughs> but I did not like it. I can't. I don't know why. I'm like, it's just one of those things, I guess. I just didn't like that show. I mean, I, I to me, I was more of a Voltron person. What does that even mean, dude? That doesn't mean you couldn't like Captain Planet. It doesn't mean I couldn't like. You Captain just don't Planet. like the planet. No, I like the planet. You, I just wanted to be saved by no. besides Captain Planet. <sighs> We're all Captain Planet. I know the you know the, we have the power. I know they gave us the power. What did he say? What the did he power say? Is yours? Oh, something like that. Yeah, the power. With your is powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Yeah, but without your powers so five combined, people to save the Earth. Exactly. It only takes five people to save the earth, right? <laughs> That's it. Five people to save the earth. Although and- you need is the fucking guy with the heart, which is the stupidest one at the end, because uh, it doesn't even go. Bah. And the heart guy, you just point that at everybody. Like but, I said, do you know what the pro- Yeah, but the other thing is, you need is you need five people, and you need five people that are all going to wear khakis. They're all going to wear khaki they look shorts. Like they're on the fucking safari all the yeah. time. Yeah, they're badly dressed. It's terrible. They're probably all wearing what, like, probably hemp. They're all from different parts of the earth. Yeah, it's probably hemp. They, they all met at Woodstock. They're in a cult. They're all, all in this. They're, they're in this. Cult. <laughs> Baby. Oh, and man. have him. And uh, haven't bounced out of it. Like, yeah. with ours, come on, we can hug trees. Yeah, they get the hell out of here. Where's Widget? Anyways. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> where's Widget? Oh, God, people, thank All you. Right, I mean, so, we'd love to hear yeah, your thoughts I don't know. on this list. I mean, I'm going to ask you this before we finish this off, Dan. Dan, <laughs> hold yeah. on. Hold on before you end this show and wrap it up here. What's your favorite jingle? Oh, that's a good one. See, see, it's to me, for me, it's between Ren and Stimpy, Animaniacs, and Tailspin. Uh, because they're, and I'm going to probably go with, I think I'm going with Tail, oh no, I'm going with Animaniacs. And the reason is because I know that Animaniacs every week change that one part of the song. And I always look forward to that one change. You know what I mean? Like, all right, what joke are they giving me now this week? Kind of like yeah. you know the Simpsons, like with the couch, um, like how yeah, they, they had their one... the couch. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. yeah. But I the, will. Uh, yeah, I have to agree. Close second. Mine, mine was. Uh, it was either going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Animaniacs, mm. and I'm going to go with Animaniacs because mm. just how crazy. Yeah. And there were so many lyrics in it. Like there's just so many words. <laughs> and they so did that words. all within like so many like and you just like you were hanging in there like, yeah, let's do this. You know? Yeah, dude, so I'll tell good. you that, that show is just so good. I, I will watch the new episodes. I have to. Yeah. I have to rewatch all the old episodes and watch the new ones, but all right, oh, guys. People, thank you for know. hanging in. Hanging let in. Us, and... Let us know what is your favorite jingle. Ah, did we yeah. miss anything? Did we get anything wrong in your opinion did we get it wrong but you know or does it even matter does it even i mean i'm gonna put the list but we would in the like show to notes. know yeah yeah list is in the show notes 
let us know if there's any other one that stands out that didn't make the list. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, like, share. Do the things that you need to do. Yeah. And to spread the word. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because we just started putting up video clips, small little clips of our of the um, of the episodes up there. So definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. And, you know, when you suggest a test, if you want, you know, tell us who you are. If you want to shout out on the, you know, on the podcast once we do the uh, your episode. But also, you know, if you're going to suggest like a list like this, you know, suggest the whole list. Give us the list. Because one cartoon theme isn't going to, you know, cut it for a whole episode. No, <laughs> whole episode. no you got to give us the whole list. Just uh, subscribe, like, yeah. hit us up. Make yeah. a jingle up. Make a jingle yeah. for the Nostalgia Test podcast. Yes, yeah. why not? Maybe we'll sing it. Yeah, make I some have, fan I have, art. I have beautiful lines. <laughs> beautiful lines. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, my we God. We'll see you next time. time. On the next Nostalgia Test. All right. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the Nostalgia Test podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review so more people can find the podcast. Share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter, at Nostalgia Test, and on Instagram, at The Nostalgia Test. Tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on The Nostalgia Test.